Okay, we're back inside theCUBE, live in San Francisco, California, at Node Summit here. Day two, Node Jam, all the startups are out there talking to the investors and the crowd, showing them their apps built on Node. I'm John Furrier, founder of SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, and this is theCUBE. This is where we broadcast live. I'm here with Ben Lowenstein and uh, Robert De Dafus. Dafus. If you're a hockey player, you'll know the name. Played with the Sharks, came from Canada. Uh, as you said earlier. Yes. Okay, and um, and what's your company name? So we are Colingo. Colingo, not to be confused with Kalinga, which is the town on uh, Route 101. No, that would definitely you know. be unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so welcome to theCUBE, guys. So what's the vibe here? Tell us what you guys are doing here and uh, your, your product and company. Absolutely. Um, so we are Colingo, and we are solving the problem of intermediate English learners worldwide. And this is a problem that's not well understood here in the U.S. But this is not like you or I who needs to go and learn the basics of French because we want to go out to a nice dinner and impress someone, or you know we want to know a little bit of Italian for the trip that we have to Italy. We're dealing with people who need English because it makes the difference of getting the job or not getting the job, of being able to seize opportunities or not seizing opportunities. And so we have a real-time online tutoring marketplace where learners can come and we match them up with tutors for very advanced, very focused language tutoring sessions that get straight to the bottom of the problems that prevent them from being fluent. So obviously, we're huge, we have uh, a project we're working on called Silicon Academy, which is kind of like our open source project, it's just getting off the ground. Mm -hmm. um, we know about Khan Academy, we hear about Code Academy, just got funding. Yeah. Um, so online learning is changing. This isn't just like online course where it's a, a different paradigm of, of learning. So is that where you guys are going in here and how does the product work? Do people opt in? Is it crowdsourced? How is, how is your... Uh, platform uh, working. Absolutely, so we're really focused on how we can take uh, someone from the United States, an average American who has one thing that really matters to learners abroad, which is the intuitive ability to listen and to help someone practice their English, and matching them with our tool set and our technology that enables them to become a really great language tutor and to be able from the comfort of their home with basically no experience to be an awesome tutor that can really help a learner get to the very specific problems that prevent them from fluency. So is it, it's a marketplace, that's so right. that, that's the primary business model, so you have to match you know, buyers and sellers, all that good stuff, yep. kind of like you know, match.com uh, for, for English. But, so there's some tech involved, right? You're dealing with video, you're dealing with audio. Yeah, we're actually dealing with audio, and uh, Robert can talk more about that, our director of engineering. Yeah, so Node was an obvious choice for this project because it's very real-time based. There's a lot of interaction going on. When that le learner is on the system with the tutor, there's a lot of information going back and forth. Node was an obvious choice for that. And we we're also dependent on some third-party APIs such as Twilio. Um, so Node is really good for kind of sitting in the middle of all this stuff going on in real time. So what about video? Is there video involved? Not at the moment, there's not, no. Just audio? Yes. Yeah. So is it a window with chat and video? Yeah, so actually we also leverage Skype in this because Skype is a great communications channel. So the learner and the tutor are actually connected over Skype. But once that happens, you know, that just kind of sits in the background and then they go over to their browsers and the actual lesson, the actual conversation itself, all that value happens in the browser. So we had Voxer on earlier. They're doing a lot of that, you know, the, the instant messaging with the voice. We asked them about Skype. And so what, what does it work, what does it mean to work with Skype? Is, to my knowledge, Skype doesn't really deal with Node. Mm. Or Skype just a, you wrapping around Skype. How does how do you handling the Skype thing? Exactly, we're doing what you just said. We wrap around Skype. So Skype has released. It's in a beta phase. Um, essentially, a runtime where you can build your own UI around Skype, and we are leveraging that in our system. And it was just a natural choice, like I said, to use Skype because they do have some great features in their network that we don't really have to worry about. You know, they just deliver a good good call. Good call. Great, so where are you guys now? Tell us about the company status. Uh, funded, angel funded, not funded, looking for funding. How many people? Sure. What are you, where are you guys at? Uh, so we're three people right now. My co-founder, Lee Jacobs, uh, myself, and Robert, uh, full-time. We're looking to hire one more. That's actually why we're here at Node Conference. And if there's anyone in this audience that is a Node developer and would like to come work on some awesome, awesome challenges, please get in touch with so us. So we were talking last night about this person you're trying to hire. It's, yeah. a, it's a tough hire, right? Yeah. It's a JavaScript person. Yeah. Just describe the person you're looking for. So we're really looking for someone who has the ability to think in an architectural sense about Node, who wants to take Node from kind of a basic hacking on it, we can make something work application, to an application that's really well structured, well tested, something that's very smooth, very robust, and can link in with a lot of the external APIs such as Skype that we're working with. 
So where are you guys at with the product now? Is it, is it actually working with some folks using it, or is it still being developed? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're in a private beta right now, and we actually have people who are using the product coming back every day, loving the experience. We're keeping things very small at the moment. We're gradually scaling them up as we fine-tune the core interactions and the core principles involved. How many people are using it in the private beta? Um, so it's pretty small right now. I'd have to check the exact numbers as of today because we just Hundreds, launched two weeks tens, ago. So. Right. Tens, hundreds, thousands? In the smaller range of that. Smaller so. range, okay, got it. Yeah, so you're controlled beta. Yeah, we're in a controlled yeah. beta, but you know, one of the exciting things is uh, you know, thinking about distribution and thinking about how easy it is to scale a solution when you have all the core components of this right. So there's VCs here, I saw, you know, obviously Charles is running around, checking everyone out. Mm -hmm. Insuk Ray is here from Rembrandt. Have you guys talked to some investors at all? And what's the, what's the feeling from investors? Yeah, uh, Charles is a great guy. I had a lot of good conversations with him so far. Um, and in general, yeah, we, um, um, we are in execution mode at the moment. And we are really looking to go ahead and prove out a lot of the, the key concepts that we're working on. And you're based here? Uh, yeah, we're based here in San Francisco. And you're looking for someone, that person, to be in San Francisco. That's right. Okay, so anyone in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, you want to come join these guys. It's a great app, and i got to say, the whole learning transformation paradigm is completely up in the air right now. It's a great environment to innovate. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Khan Academy, huge fan of, of Code Academy. We have a Silicon Academy project, which is just now uh, getting up and online, not really online, but going. We're getting some support for it, but... Uh, it's huge, and, and, and it's changing the game, and the learning environment will be, as Mark Hopkins and I talk about, very Xbox-like, mm -hmm. um, where there's going to be a lot of interaction, a lot of real-time data, very gamification-oriented, cool things like that. So I think you guys got a good, good opportunity. Hope you can find that person. Yeah, I mean, myself as well, and you know, it's really the opportunity to take code, to take Node, and make something that's going to work for the two billion people that are learning English over the next 10 years. The get numbers that, are just staggering. Get that product out the door. Ben, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Pleasure.